uh, we're proposing to build and to eliminate the elevated section between Pennsylvania and Lamar and build the section on an embankment, bring it down to ground level and carry it from the ground level from Metropolitan to Linway and then back up to the embankment at Pennsylvania. Even though the Spence area residents got what they want, eight families will have to be displaced here and here. The appreciable cost will be about the same. The district engineer said he changed his plans not because of coercion, but just because the people in the community wanted it that way. For Channel 8 News on the Move, this is Jess Brown. Were you surprised yesterday when the county school board made this particular decision? Well, I guess I'm never surprised at anything that really happened, so I was really disappointed, but uh, I can't say that I was surprised. Why were you disappointed? Because the Wilma Hutchins Independent School District is working for the betterment of all the children in the district, and the type of ruling that was made by the Dallas County School Board, in my opinion, is not in the best interest of the students. Some observers say that the citizens in the southeast section of the Wilma Hutchins School District are trying to run away from blacks by moving to the Ferry School District. Can they do this? No, I don't think that they will at all. Uh, it's, you can't really run far enough to run away from blacks because blacks are American too and they live everywhere. And you're running, but you just run in. kind of insisted that, that I'd take him wherever he wanted to go. Larry, uh, we had a heartbreaking game the week prior to the Texas game when we lost to Texas Tech 14 to 10 and in the last couple of minutes of play after leading 10 to 7. So, uh, put the Texas game on top of it, I'd say that uh, the morale and attitude has been fine this week, but I think uh, we haven't had too good a workout some practice. Are you going to come out running and establish the running game or, or pass from the kickoff? Well, of course, we always try to let the opponents dictate what we do by the alignment of their defense. Some people like to play uh, defense that will stop the passing game. Some people like to play against the running uh, plays. Uh, some people try to uh, mix up their defenses to play against the run and the pass as the situation demands. Uh, a and M through the years never uh, does what we anticipate them to do. Uh, Coach Stallings has a knack for changing things up. So I don't know with uh, Chuck Hickson uh, on the doubtful list as participating in the game, I guess they're wondering what we're going to do. Well, I like to have his money. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a lot of times people will say, hi, Rose, and I just throw my hand up and keep driving. And I'll be eating, hi, Rose, of the room. He <laughs> said, what is it, you on a diet for a new picture or what? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm on a diet. But uh, when he walks, he's so big, man, he goes from side to side, and I walk straight up. So a lot of people call me Rose. I, I don't get mad. I used to, but I say hi and keep going. And I told my manager Hayward to uh, to get him and I together, and uh, you know when I get ready to stop boxing, which will be a long time from now, put me on the show, maybe his double, you know. This might work. Yeah. I understand you also went to school with one of our Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Mel Renfro, yes. 
Uh, to Jefferson High School in Portland, Oregon. Did uh, you play football at all up there? Yeah, I played football for about three weeks uh, under the coach <laughs> of uh, Eric, Eric Waldorf, I believe it was. That's an awful short football career train. Yeah, well, uh, we played a scrimmage game and three guys tackled me and I jumped up and thought back. And so the coach said, okay, train, you hit the shower and go back to the ring. So this is what I did. Okay. Hope we can like still judging so I can, you know. Third point. Seven or in sixty nine. Three. Talk about the increases in the non- down in those industries. The second affirmative constructive tells you that Burns was ignoring labor unions and certainly he wasn't. The other